Evacuation and shelter in place orders have been lifted tonight following a hazardous material situation in Coolidge. Several neighborhoods were impacted by this and Pinal County Sheriff's Office says a semi truck loaded with various chemicals began heating up and burning the trailer. So officials were worried about the potential impact of those chemicals combining. Uh, so residents nearby, they were told to leave their homes. The scene has been cleared though, and all of those evacuation orders have been lifted. Hey. Philip Brady got the call after work. He stayed on the phone with the scammer for about an hour and recorded the entire conversation. This is Deputy Mike Caputo. And where's Very your cool badge number? Nine, the single digit, number nine, sir. On July 5th, Philip Brady got an incoming call from who he thought was the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, as that's how it showed up on his phone. He started throwing all these legal things at me, saying, well, you didn't show up to court, to jury duty, and you need to turn yourself in to the Sheriff's Department. Or if you want to get out of this, you need to go to the bonds and, and, and or go to your bank and get this, which was 90000 they want it. A total of a $90,000 U.S. bond. These are not criminal bonds, ma'am. These are simple cash collateral or surety bonds for the courts. The scammer even sent over fake documents, along with how Brady needed to transfer the money. Officers to reach out to the clerk's office. What they're going to be doing at that time, sir, is sending over a digital copy of your warrant. It's going to be in black and white. When Brady said he didn't have $90,000, the caller eventually lowered it to $1,000. He told me, go to the bank and go get money out. And then when you're going when you're done with that, you're going to go to a kiosk, the closest kiosk, and he knew where the kiosk was. It was Fry's. The details are what made Brady question if this was real. Yeah, at this time, if you can't if you can't satisfy at least one of those warrants, then you can't state an amount that's available for you to post toward that citation. Just come on, uh, proceed down here to the sheriff's office immediately. Brady pulled out the $1,000 the caller was asking, but before he got to a kiosk, his daughter called MCSO, who said to hang up because it was a scam. He almost had me that much, but this thing started clicking all together, and then that was it. I was like, no, this is a scam. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office says if you get one of these phone calls, the best thing to do is hang up and call local law enforcement immediately to report it. Lindsay Rakes, Fox 10 News. All right, you might remember this. This had a lot of us shocked at the time. 2019, <laughs> yeah. University of Arizona was mocked for rebranding as U Arizona. Well, now it's back to U of A, but how they announced it has surprised some brand experts. Steve Nielsen has the story about U of A from ASU. As a journalist, it's important to get both sides of the story. So when the University of Arizona decided to rebrand themselves, we had to talk to students at ASU about that. Ever the student, Alex talked to us while walking to class. That's hilarious. I just find that really funny. He's referring to the branding change his rival school made in 2019. Even Saturday Night Live made jokes when the University of Arizona dropped U of A and instead wanted to go by U Arizona. Is it just me or does U Arizona sound like the punchline to a joke about Arizona stereotypes? <laughs> like if you've ever gotten a DUI in a golf cart, you, Arizona. <laughs> U of A fans, they hate it. I have not come across one U of A fan that likes it. And the only people that like using it are ASU fans because it sounds atrocious. Michael Luke with PHNX Wildcat Sports says the laughs can stop now. Buried in the University of Arizona written style guide, a change. Please note, as of 7-124, U Arizona is officially retired. This needed to be a press conference. There needed to be dignitaries. Was it amazing? Obviously not if it's gone. Candy Gway is a branding expert at Envita Social. She says rebrands cost money. A ton of money, millions, especially for something big like this. She's surprised the change was made only in fine print. I think I probably would have made this more of a big deal. I think it's kind of a fun way to maybe spark a conversation, especially on social media. A spokesperson for the U of A said as the state's flagship university, we're best known to students, alums, and fans as Air Arizona and the U of A. U Arizona will continue to be used on social media, including Instagram and X. ASU students will poke fun no matter what. It doesn't roll off the tongue right. They already had a whole branding going. They decided to change it, and then it clearly didn't work out, so they're switching back. But for the U of A guys like Luke, it's finally a return to normalcy. There is no U Arizona. It's the U of A or the University of Arizona. It's very simple. So on second reference, they're going back to U of A. But keep in mind, there's a space between the U, the of, and the A. 
Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.